Hey everybody, my name is Bjorn Allpass from WPLearningLab.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to create Twitter cards. I'm pretty sure everybody on the planet knows that on Twitter you're allowed to type 140 characters. What Twitter cards allow you to do is add more to your tweets. So this is a relatively new feature on Twitter, but when you're inside your developer's account, you can click on the Twitter cards icon in the bottom left here and then it tells you what Twitter cards are. Here it says Twitter cards help you richly represent your content within tweets across the web, mobile, on the web and mobile devices. This gives users greater context and insight into the URLs shared on Twitter. I'll give an example of what happens. On our WPLearningLab.com website we have Twitter cards and when you I'm clicking really quick through this stuff because I just want to show you an example and I'll show you how to do it in a second but when you have a Twitter card you will tweet about your page so you can say something like visit my awesome page to see this awesome tutorial and at the bottom of your tweet the Twitter card will be attached and this is the Twitter card it has it can have your name and a small thumbnail I have in this case the featured post from the WordPress site the title of the post, the name, mention of our Twitter account, and a short excerpt. And that is then appended to the tweet. So you can imagine if your content is popular and people retweet it and share it, this Twitter card is attached to every single retweet and tweet of your content. That will definitely drive click-through rates and bring you more traffic. So now that you've seen the example, let's get into how you can do this for yourself. So you log into your Twitter developer's account at dev.twitter.com. Click on the Twitter cards icon. And here it says there's four simple steps. Choose a card type, add a meta text to your site, validate the tags, and then you have to submit it to Twitter for approval. So let's start with step one. Click on the try them link. And here it shows you the different Twitter cards you can create. You can create all of these for your website. So you're not limited to one or the other you can have all of them, you can just have one of them, or two, or three, it's up to you. And it really depends on the content of your site. If you're having, see this one right here is for video. So if you have a lot of posts with video, you'd want to use this Twitter card. And then there's the photo Twitter card, the product with pricing, uh, large image summary, which is the example I just showed you. Mine was a large summary image. So you pick the one that's most appropriate to what you want to do right now. For each one, you have to go through this process and get it approved. So for each one, you got to go through this process over and over and over again. So if you want to do the, the summary large image, just click on it. And here it, get, it, it brings up this data that you have to enter on the left-hand column, and then it shows a live preview in the right-hand column. And then down below that, it shows the sample code that you have to embed into your WordPress site. So each of these fields will light up green when you've done the right thing. So in that first pop-up box, we selected summary large image. So that's pre-filled or set to green. And when you hover over these areas, it tells you in this little pop-up window what you have to do. So in this first one, you put the Twitter username. So for my site, it's WP Learning Lab. Yours will be different. For the title, this is just a, a sample. Uh, what you do when you get the embed code is you'll dynamically import the title into these things. So just for this sample purpose, let's we'll just put a sample title. Top 10 WordPress themes for 2014. Sample description, I'm just going to copy the title. The creator name, this is often the owner of the site, but if you have a multi-author multi website, you put the, the Twitter handle for the author. In my case, just WP Learning Lab again. The image, just a placeholder image. Uh, it says here it's not required. Uh, that's something also that we'll be dynamically putting in in the website itself. And then the domain.com or the domain WPLearningLab.com. Mobile integration, this is optional but in order to obviously work better on mobile you should go through and fill this out as well and all these items when you hover over them 
it tells you what to do. So when you have that all done, click on update preview. And here it says the value of this tag should not be identical to the title. Uh, so top 10 WordPress themes for 2014, they are awesome. So for the image, I just grabbed the featured image from the site and we'll click update preview again. And here it shows you the Twitter card we just created with the sample code down below. Now, since we didn't do any of the iPhone or iPad stuff, so we only need to have this part here. So now that we have the sample code, it's fantastic because all we have to do is paste this into the header file of our WordPress site and dynamically update things like the, the title, the description, and the URL for the image. What's not fantastic is that those things do require uh, quite a bit of, of programming because they're going to be outside of the WordPress loop. The title's easy. It's just uh, get the title is the name of the function. So that's easy. You can do that outside of the loop. But to get to the description or the excerpt and the, the featured image, if those are activated on your theme, that is more difficult to do. What I recommend is you get the SEO by Yoast plugin and it does a lot of this stuff for you and you don't have to worry about the, the programming back end and it's a great all around plugin for a lot of other things as well and this is just an added bonus so I'll show you how to do that in the SEO Yoast plugin right now so I have the SEO by Yoast plugin installed right here when you hover over the SEO you'll see a bunch of options you want to click on the social option This will allow you to enable Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. Right now we're working on Twitter. And this will normally be unchecked when you first install the plugin, so you have to check this. You add the um, your Twitter handle and the default type of card that you want to use, which in my case I want to use the summary with large image as the default. And what it does is it adds all the rest of it dynamically. So we just defined in the plugin what this meta tag would be, and we defined, well, we, de we defined the first two meta tags, and the rest, the title, the description, uh, and the image, and the domain, it the plugin fills in for you. So you don't have to do all this programming on the back end, so it makes life really easy. And then once you have set the plugin up the way you want it, and clicked on save, you can then come back here and validate the URL. I show you this at the beginning of the video. I'm just going to show you again for sake of completeness. Paste your URL in here and validate it. And then it will show you a preview here of how it looks and whether or not it will show red, uh, red circles if there's something missing or something wrong. And it looks like it's all fine. And what will happen is uh, my site's currently approved. Uh, since yours probably won't be approved yet, you'll have to click the Get Approved button, which would be here. Uh, I believe it's at the bottom down here. Click on that, and there's just a short form that you fill out, and that's submitted to Twitter, and they say they'll get back to you as soon as they can. Uh, I believe they say actually multiple days till they get back to you, but the last time I did it, it took only a few hours. And then once your Twitter card is approved, this runs automatically. So when, once uh, your content is being shared on Twitter, this Twitter card will always be associated with it, which will increase your click-through rates and drive more traffic to your site. I hope this video served you. In this video, I showed you how to create Twitter cards, how to get the code manually, how to set them up, and then how to uh, do it more automatically with the SEO by Yoast plugin which I, I recommend is the direction you go. If you have any questions, leave a comment below and I'll try to help you out. Share it, tweet it, like it, subscribe, do all that good stuff. And again, my name is Bjorn Allpass from WPLearningLab.com and I'll see you in the next video.